Do you have a high tolerance for pain? Has there ever been a time in your life where maybe you've had some chronic pain? Well, in this video, I'm gonna talk about that because I'm actually in a little bit of pain right now, but I've learned a lot of ways to avoid pain. Welcome to Chavez Live 360, brought to you by Mother Nature has a solution for that. Where I go live every day with videos like this so we can get to know each other. I specialize in networking online and giving people ideas about how you can live a natural, holistic lifestyle. I am here in the fabulous city of Las Vegas. Let me know where in the world that you're tuning in from. Again, my name is Mike Chavez, and um, I do these videos every day um, to help people out. So I always um, share, if you're not familiar with my videos, why I'm talking about a particular topic. So if you're new to my broadcast, say hello below and if you're going to come back on the replay let me know that you're here the reason i'm talking about this today is because <clears throat> normally i'm just getting home from the gym about this time or i'm just getting done with my workouts every day and today i'm in quite a bit of pain i uh strained my upper oblique uh, outer oblique muscle the other day i didn't even realize it i kind of overdid it um and you know, there's been some other times in my life where I've had some excruciating pain that I've had to deal with. Just a quick story or two here in this video about how I've had to manage and learn how to deal with chronic pain. So if you've um, ever gone through anything in your life where maybe you've had a surgery or you've had something debilitating, let me know in the comments. Put a P in the comments for pain if you've dealt with pain. And hopefully some of the stories that I tell you will help you uh, think about a different way to manage pain. So, yeah, um, a, a real quick story. Um, some of you might know um, over the last uh, six or seven years, I've had some surgeries on my back and whatnot. But more specifically, about six years ago, I had uh, two spinal surgeries. Uh, one of them was the L5-S1 spinal fusion. And then a year later, they had two go in and do a nerve surgery actually repair the nerve because i was having a uh, inflammation and i was having sciatica and it got really really super bad but at the time i was really really overweight and i had a lot of inflammation in my body so they did these two surgeries and uh, that was a two-year process and i was in a lot of pain so i was in opiates for over two years and then once I pretty much got better from those two surgeries, I got off the opiates, I was able to manage my pain more naturally, and then I had to have my left knee replaced. So I had these two spinal surgeries and a full knee replacement in less than three years. Now, I'm realizing now that a lot of the pain that I was in and a lot of the things that caused um, my back injury, my knee injury was systematic inflammation. And the systematic inflammation basically came from the lifestyle that I was living, the types of food that I was eating, uh, having a sedentary lifestyle. You know, I heard something the other day, it was totally true that they consider sitting to be the new smoking because most people aren't getting enough activity. And I was definitely one of those people. Now, it's, it's funny how it works. You know, the more um, that you don't move, the more tight you get, the more that you're not able to be functional. So... Um, I've had to deal with pain quite a bit. I've had these surgeries that I and mean, what was it uh, about 12 years ago? I got in a motorcycle accident. I broke both of my arms and so I had to have my right elbow replaced and uh, that was a whole other process. It took about a year where I was on opiates as well again. So w the reason I'm telling you all this is because here I am home today. I strain my muscle. I strain my oblique muscle. And I'm not going to fib to you. I'm in, I'm in some pain. I am in some pain today. However, uh, I refuse to take any sort of opiates or pain medication. I also refuse to take any sort of uh, uh, ibuprofen or uh, Aleve or any of those sort of things because of the things that they do to your liver, your kidneys, and your gut. Uh, I know that with rest and um, the proper nutrition, I'm going to go ahead and lick this little strain that I have, but it's very good to know that we can eat naturally, holistically, in a healthy way to reduce the inflammation in our body. See, inflammation is the root cause of all pain, discomfort, and disease, really. It really, really is. And if we can 
fix the root of what's causing the pain by eating right because that's normally what causes things to happen when you don't eat right you get the inflammation and it just kind of snowballs from there then we can do it so it's been quite some time where i've been on no medication no pain medication i haven't even taken an aspirin or an leave or anything like that and again i'm sitting home today just resting it's a beautiful day i might go for a walk here in a little bit just to get the body moving a little bit but i'm gonna rest uh, i've been working out pretty hardcore for quite some time and i'm um, gonna you know take a little bit of a break at the beginning of the year i think it was actually last december right before the new year i hurt my back and uh again that back old back injury came back to bite me in the butt i was overtraining. i was doing too much and uh, i had to take a week off so uh, i don't plan on taking a week off this time with this little injury that i have here but it's comforting to know that I do know what to do to manage pain in a natural way where I don't have to depend on medication or over-the-counter medication to manage my pain. So we are actually building a new community here online called Mother Nature Has a Solution for That. And that's the really the, the vision and the purpose of this community is to teach people the ways to eat healthy and naturally in a way to reduce the inflammation in your body so you can manage your pain pain is nothing but a warning sign it's kind of like the check engine light on your dashboard of your car the pain happens for a reason you know and there's a difference between pain where, where you maybe you're doing something that you haven't done for a long time and you kind of just you know need to get used to doing that kind of thing and then there's pain where you need to go see the doctor or you need to rest or you need to not do something for a minute. So pain management is something that is a hot topic today because of the opioid crisis that we've had here in this country. And I was swept up. I was involved in all of that. And I'm glad I was able to get away from that with the holistic, natural ways that I have learned. And I'm inspired to share with other people just like you. So if you want more information about the things that I've done to live this natural lifestyle to reduce pain inflammation feel better do better put a question mark in the comments i will personally invite you to this community because you deserve to know these things because you know the power that made the body can heal the body think about that for a second the same power that made your body can heal your body and it all comes from mother nature stay safe stay healthy god bless each and every one of you and i'll see you in the group Goodbye, everybody.